as an 18 year old kid, I was playing college football in Decorah, Iowa at Luther College. I lined up on the right side of the field, the ball is kicked, and I run, I dive, but I mistimed my jump just by a split second. In an instant, I lose all feeling and movement from my neck down. I wake up on October 17, 2010, thinking I just had the worst nightmare of my life, but then the surgeon comes in and my nightmare becomes my reality. He says, Chris, you have a 3% chance of ever regaining any feeling or movement back below your neck. I was stunned, but sometimes God has a better plan for you than the plan you had for yourself. Growing up, I had an amazing family. Um, we lived in Muscatine, Iowa. I prayed in high school. I said, God, I just want you to use me. I want you to use me to bring you to others and to just help others know that they are loved and that they are special and chosen and that you have great plans for their lives. About nine months after my injury, I returned to campus and I set the goal that I'm gonna walk across the stage of my college graduation. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I was just gonna work as hard as I possibly could to make it happen. And so I poured in as much as I could into this graduation walk. When I first met Chris, I had felt like I always knew him. It was way easier um, just to talk to him. He was such a great listener, and we instantly were connected. I thought Emily was the one right when I met her. I mean, she was way out of my league. She was beautiful, even more beautiful on the inside than the outside, which is saying something. And she just has this heart of gold where she just wants to help others. She always is giving. I knew that if I had Chris, that everything was gonna be okay in life. Walking Emily down the aisle of our wedding was such a beautiful moment to share with her, someone I love more than anything in the world. Being a foster parent is by far the best thing I've ever done. It is my passion. I truly believe it's the reason that I'm here. I thought I was disqualified to be a foster parent uh, because of my situation, but God doesn't call the qualified, He qualifies the call. God was so present in our lives. It helped stretch my heart and open me to do even more than what I thought was possible. The transformations and miracles that God has performed in kids' lives, and it is amazing to be able to be a part of that every single day of just spreading love and helping these kids realize how special and loved and chosen they truly are. My faith has given me the courage to go forward. Uh, it gave me hope at this light at the end of the tunnel when I was first hurt. I want others to know that life's lowest moments can be our greatest blessing and that we can use those moments to help others, to give back, make a difference, make the world a better place. Uh, God has a beautiful way of putting messes together. And so no matter how broken you are, no matter how lost you are, keep going. Keep going.